Hello and greetings in the name of our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's praying time again in the house of the Lord. And I just wanted to say to all my friends, be blessed and be delighted, even in face of adversities and in hard times, that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has died for our sins. He has already taken on our burdens, and there's nothing more beautiful than having someone give their life and sacrifice all so that we can have eternal life and we may see the glory of the kingdom of heaven. Praise be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I wanted to read a verse from John 1, and it is pertaining to being in the light and walking in the light and serving God in everything that you do. This is one of the first commandments. I think it's one of the most important commandments and that is to, you know, just be good to your friends and, you know, to give your life for a friend if necessary, but not in vain. We know that, you know, there are sinners in our path and we come across them and it is our duty to, to be a light, to be an example, to be a guide but God also gave us wisdom. So to those who are not ready, we offer our prayer. And our prayer is a very mighty thing. It's a mighty tool in the army of God. So praise be. And let me read this verse before I pray, because I have a few prayer requests that definitely, you know, we should always pray and just give each other the glory because God gave us his life and if we serve him he is a glorious god and we give him all the glory but we also pay homage to those who are saints those who do the work of god you know so let us take from the chapter of john the first epistle and we're going to read from verses 5 this is the message which we have heard from him who declared to you that god is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, the son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make a liar, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. We know that when we walk with God and we serve God and we give ourselves to God, when we present ourselves as a temple and our body, you know, is cleansed and we not do things that go against God's word, that we are basically walking in the light. And there's no shame in us. But we are human and we are subject to error. When these errors occur, and they will occur, we should promptly pray. Ask others to pray for us. Pray, you know, on, on the behalf of others. And just give God the glory. And just basically be a support to all of our fellow Christians and brothers. And show love. Because love is the greatest tool that can conquer any evil. It can turn an enemy into a friend. With that said, I will pray now for my friends and make intercession on your behalf and just let the Holy Spirit move us in the direction that it would have us move, amen? Because the Holy Spirit is within us who walk with Christ, hallelujah. Dear Lord, I come to you today just a humble servant. Oh, Heavenly Father, willing to submit myself and my life towards you. I know that I'm not perfect, 
Lord, I, I lead by example of your word and I allow your word to move first in me. But myself, I know that I fall short. And though I may fall short, I get up, Father, because I choose to serve you because you are a mighty God. You are a loving God. I just try to be an example in the light so that others may be drawn on to you by my example and glorified and just glorify your name because you are the most wonderful and beautiful thing. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just we just ought to love you. You're worthy of our praise. Heavenly Father, I pray for my friend who mothers high blood pressure went up. Heavenly Father, I know that you can bring it down that, you know, the doctors, they can do their part. But Heavenly Father, it is you who, who just you change things in us. You heal us. You make us whole again. Oh, Heavenly Father, you remember us. I know you remembered me when I was living in a world of sin and you, and you brought me out and you just and you just showed me that there's so much that you could do with my life and so many positive things and the wondrous things of heaven. Oh, not that I know the mysteries of it, but oh, Heavenly Father, whenever I when I when I touch into your power, Heavenly Father, I see a glimpse of it and it just makes me hunger for more. Oh, I know the power of your word. Oh, Heavenly Father, my friend Duchess, Heavenly Father, just, just show her, Heavenly Father, that there is, that you are leading the way and that her move will be a peaceful one. Oh, Heavenly Father, will be a productive one. You will allow her to, to have life and have it abundantly and you will just go before her, Heavenly Father. Oh, take away all doubt, all nervousness in that, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, I, I pray for my friend, Heavenly Father, who's seeking a job, Heavenly Father, who moved to Atlanta and, and, and things just haven't came through for her. Oh, Heavenly Father, that job is there for her, Heavenly Father, and you know exactly where it's at. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying, Heavenly Father, that the Holy Spirit will come down right now and touch her and start to make intercession for her, Heavenly Father, and lead her to that job. Oh, Heavenly Father, there are sick and suffering children out here, Heavenly Father. We're in a, a recession and, and, and many people are losing their jobs and their homes, Heavenly Father. But you're a mighty God, Heavenly Father. You can move mountains. Oh, Heavenly Father, I praise your heavenly and holy name and I pray that you will step in. Oh, Heavenly Father, and intercede for them and just make things more positive for them this, this holiday season, Heavenly Father. And I pray that that we as Christians, Heavenly Father, will do our charity, Heavenly Father, that we will that we will seek to help someone, Heavenly Father, that we will not just, just sit down and, and say, that's too bad, that's a shame, but get up, Heavenly Father. Oh, let the Spirit move us, Heavenly Father. Let him show us what we should do. Let him show us where we should help other people. Oh, Heavenly Father, let us be, let us walk in Jesus' image, Heavenly Father. Let us be imitators of Christ, Heavenly Father. He did not turn anyone away, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, let us recognize that sinners have souls too, and that sinners should be prayed for. Oh, Heavenly Father, that our prayer can change them, Father, that, had, that once we were sinners, Heavenly Father, and you showed us mercy. So let us, let us be the imitators of Christ and show mercy to others. Oh, Heavenly Father, for my friend who mother... Oh, Heavenly Father has cancer. Oh, Heavenly Father, I pray that you will put that cancer in remission, Heavenly Father, and then that you will just annihilate it, that it will not exist in her body. Oh, Heavenly Father, we know that you can go inside us, that you can heal us, that you can remove all negative things inside us. Oh, Heavenly Father, we know that nothing but demons, Heavenly Father, cancers, addiction. Oh, Heavenly Father, take these demons and, and just rid us of them, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, and we pray for the saints. Oh, we give greetings in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, Heavenly Father, let us have mercy. Let mercy be bestowed upon us that we may show mercy to others, Heavenly Father, because we are tools in your mighty army. And when we walk in the light, we glorify you. And let us glorify you. Amen. Hallelujah. In my Jesus' name, I pray this prayer. And I have all faith that it is already done. So I thank you in advance, my Lord, my Savior. Wow. Praying for God is such a wonderful thing and it is one of the most beautiful things that we can do. God is good. God is love. God is peace. So may peace be in your life. May happiness and joy follow you throughout this holiday season. And may the Lord Jesus bless you and you serve him all the days of your life. 
In Jesus' name, I close this prayer with a mighty amen, hallelujah,